I'm just trying to reason why water would or ice would be bad against water. Cause like, yeah. I bug being good against psychic is yeah, insectophobia. Like that that kinda makes sense. I can work that. Psychic against poison? Does I, it, unless it's like a mind over matter thing. Yeah, okay, I don't actually get that one. I that one I guess is just so deeply ingrained, but it it I don't think I've ever come up with like any kind of like logic or reasoning for why uh ice would be bad against water types. And this gets oh. me like every time we get into uh we whenever I play a Pokemon game, I'm like, okay, I mean I shouldn't be bad against water, right? And then it's like half effective, and I'm like, what? Why? It, this happens every time I play a Pokemon game, too. Mm -hmm. That's why you said that you weren't too fond of using ice types, because you didn't really know where they stood with many things. Yeah, it's like, I know where they stand with electricity and fire, because that makes sense. Oh, and should I just switch? Probably to get things done faster. I, I mean, just hitting them twice is about the same speed. No, that's true. Maybe I'll use Payday. I mean, really, the trick would be, uh... Oh, oh, the baddie bad. Yeah. Would annihilate it. Oh, uh, actually, I would say you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, baddie, baddie bad's real good against... Oh, no, minimize, I forgot about this. Evasiveness rose, well... Yeah, because ice is good against flying. I guess that makes sense, kinda? Ice is good against ground. Yeah, I guess... It freezes the ground. Kind of, it's good against grass. It freezes the thing, dragon... I mean... So, it, as ice is essentially strong against the things that water would have been harmed by? Sort of? Well, it's only in grass. Only in grass's case. Y yeah. I... Uh, you might as well switch to Raichu for this one, because it'll be faster. Yeah, birds mm -hmm. can't fly in snowstorms. No, like, that that one kind of makes sense. Like, ice is also effective against dragon, correct? Yeah. And yeah, dragons are cold-blooded, so ice hurts. Yep. Yeah, like, that that makes kind of sense. It's just, like, a little bit more vague. Whereas, like, uh, grass is bad against flying. Okay, birds, yeah, kind of makes sense. Uh, poison, okay, yeah, kind of makes sense-ish. Wait, poison versus ice? No, grass. Grass is grass, bad against grass. poison. Oh, okay. You're going you know, kind, kind of makes sense. You know, living things get poison kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> He's got a nose dribble going on. I, I noticed that. Whereas, like, grass being good against ground and rock. Okay, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Roots can do some serious problems. And grass being bad against bug. Yeah, that makes sense. Bugs eat plants. Easy peasy. See if you can just go up to that guy. Or I guess There's also this yeah. guy oh, yeah, here that I haven't fight fought. I fought that guy on Magikarp. And then, like, what else is grass bad against. Grass is bad against steel. Yep, makes perfect sense. Uh, no purchase. Grass is bad against fire. No duh. Grass is good against water. Yeah. Kind of makes sense in a rock, paper, scissors way. Grass is bad against grass. I mean, that's just how Pokemon works. Grass is bad against dragon. Eh? I don't know. Dr the whole dragon type weaknesses were just kind of random. But it makes sense. Uh, or maybe it just kind of gets... I guess maybe that's just stuck in my head. But, like, the ice being bad against water, I think, is part of the reason why I've always been leery of ice. Because it's just like, wait, why? And I've never had, like, a good answer for that one. So I think I've just always been stuck on it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at them and... Yeah, I... I usually tend to be, I, I, I'd say, boring. And I tend to stick with the... Primary types is what I would call them. And then what I do is I make sure that they have one off move. So if I have a water type Pokemon, they'll have an ice move on them. You know what I'm you know what I'm getting at? Yeah. I just I guess I, I've always preferred steel types. Because mm -hmm. they have the highest amount of things that aren't effective against them, I believe. Uh, so it's just like, okay, is it a fighting, a ground, or a fire type? No? Perfect. My steel type can just tank it. No big deal. Seriously, there's only three things that do regular damage to, uh, to steel. And it's water, ghost, and uh, electric. 
Oh, really? I thought electric did double damage against steel. I'm wrong. Oh, and dark. Really? I thought that electricity did more damage to steel as well. I thought so too, but no. Yeah. I think it's... No, I have fire no idea. Fire does, though. Yeah, f fire does. Melt steel. Makes sense. Yeah, I always thought that electricity would do better because it conducts. Yeah. Admittedly, steel's not very good against a whole lot of things. It's good against fairy, ice, and rock? But that's fine. Usually, it's rare to have a soul steel type. Usually, you've got a combo with something else. All right. I should be here. Don't disturb the water. I feel like there'd be a sea monster. I don't know. I guess I've always been a bigger fan of like the Dragon Quest uh, style of monsters where they just fit into families instead. So you just have abilities that's like, good against dragons. And it's like, yeah, that works. Great against beast monsters. Yep, that makes total sense. Great against metal monsters. A little bit more esoteric, but there's a lot of metal oh, monsters. Oh, well then how many types did they end up having? Uh, well they had families, so you had... Well the families, how many families then? Uh... Jeez. Let me check families. Monster families. Slime, aquatic, beast, bird, bug, demon, dragon, elemental, humanoid, machine, material, nature, and undead. Some oh. of them get, got like a little weirder, like... Well, undead, it, they're definitely more of a like fantasy -esque. Yeah, well obviously, and material was like animated objects. I suppose you can consider ghost type undead. Yeah, yeah, they were they were undead. And so, like, you had you had special moves that specifically would target it, like Metal Slash and dar Dragon Slash and stuff. Mm -hmm. But 99% 99 of the moves were just, like, straight up just did regular damage against everything. And I always found, like, that made a little bit more sense and gave them a little bit more flexibility. And then you could, like, straight up just walk into an area and it would be like, Watch out for the Super Dragon that lurks in this area! And then you just straight up have a Super Dragon that lurks in the area. Wanna learn Slash or no? Uh, not really, no. Because you, you like smokescreen? I mean, the only thing I'd replace would be maybe Brick Break. But that's a move that we taught him, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, honestly. Because that's just a 70 accuracy 100. So, go back. Go take a look at B Brick Break. Yeah, Brick Break does more damage. Yeah. So then we're just going to forget it. Yeah, and smokescreen is vaguely useful. Most people see their first steel type uh, versus Skarmory. Really? For me, it was always uh, X Scissor or or no, Scissor or uh, Steelix. Those are those were the two steel types I encountered. But those you have to get through trade. You can't possibly encounter them. I had a little brother. Oh. Mm-hmm. You see, I, I, I loved Skarmory. I didn't like Skarmory. You didn't like Skarmory? No, it was a pain in the butt. I liked his appearance. Uh, so, when grinding before the Elite Four in silver and gold, there's like two places to do it. One is like... Oh, to catch one, you mean? Well, no, 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 no. Grinding before you go, like, tackle the the Victory Road. Mm -hmm. uh, and specifically, the area had, like, Skarmory, Donphan, and like a couple other things for me. And it sucked, because it was like... Skarmory was not fun to fight at the time, because I always rolled Grass-type. And mm. I usually didn't have a whole lot of Fire-types, because... I, I had a Fire starter, so... Yeah, not as big of a deal. I would have chosen Chikorita, but my cousin chose Chikorita. So I ended up choosing Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil oh, wasn't bad, though. It's slow, bro. Look at that face! I think for Gen 2, I actually went with Feral Guitar, or now, Feral Gator. Now, Slowbro's one of those psychic waters, right? So I can use Batty Bat. Yeah. I think he's water psychic. We'll have to see. Yeah, they're... Oh, pretty good. Super effective. Yeah. Feral... Feraligator. Feraligator. There we go. I never saw the eye. Always screwed with me, because it's... Feral... 
a alligator, feral alligator. Yeah, it it just bugs me that it goes T R. Because as a kid, I didn't think of it as alligator. I just saw it as guitar. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So I called him Feral Guitar forever. Feral Guitar. <laughs> Kid me was dumb. But it's been stuck in my head forever. And I've never been able to get out of my head, head since. I always liked uh, Meganium because she looked like a brontosaurus. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. My problem is just their heads looked kind of dumb. Aww. But they looked like the weird thumb beasts. Like thumb that was beasts. that was my problem with the uh, the Chikorita line is just they they had kind of thumb like appearances. They were adorable. And they were cute, but like compared to Cinnabar Island. Well, look at that place. Yeah, it's the it's laboratory. burnt out. Mansion or lab, mansion. yeah. Okay. Scientists sometimes go to the Pokemon Mansion to carry out different experiments. Yeah, the place burned down. You. You got an antidote. I want to say we run into Team Rocket in there. Wait. The fiery town of burning desire. Okay, don't go in the gym. <laughs> Not gym time. Not gym time yet. Oh, yeah. The Cinnabar Island Jim's Blaine is an odd one. He's lived on the island since way before the Pokemon Lab was built. Ugh, your weird <laughs> dumb drumstick head confuses and upsets me. <laughs> I forgot how small Cinnabar, Cinnabar Island Lab. was. Cinnabar Lab. Do you think we can get the... Yep. Oh, we can. The Kabuto? Yep. Did you come to have a look at our lab? Most impressive. I like to see that kind of drive. Now give me a second so I can take off my clothes and skin so you can wear them. Dr. Fuji. We study Pokemon here, day in, day out. People bring us rare Pokemon to examine. I think you go to the right. Yeah, probably this is the laboratory. Sure. Hey, no running in the hallways. Boy. I've always wanted the, the, the chance to say something like that. Uh huh. Well then. Experimental lab. Research lab. Reception room. Well, let's take a look. I thought you were just in the reception room. No, that was lobby. What? <laughs> <There's> <laughs> what? The sofa is very soft and comfortable. He loves his sofa wander. Scientifically proven to be the most comfortable thing for my butt. <laughs> this is a reception room. It's a room where we talk to our guests. When we don't have guests, it's a place for scientists to slack off. We haven't removed that guy from the couch in years. I found this remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare Pokemon. It's like a Zubat. <laughs> okay. I don't get out much. Maybe we won't be able to do this until we actually defeat the gym or go through no, the lab no. or something. No, no, I think we get it immediately. Ah, what have I done? I accidentally wrote on the board with a permanent marker. Maybe I could turn it the other way and no one would ever know. That's right. Eevee has the potential to evolve in a variety of different ways. Yeah. That doesn't look like your Eevee has any interest in evolving, though. Ugh. Come in, come in, come at me. I'm a scientist who's been working without sleep or rest. You really think you stand a chance? Sorry to tell you like that all of a sudden. I haven't slept in days. Here, I'll give you this. Do you think you can forgive me? You got taunt. Don't you think this machine looks rather like a washing machine? It's not, though. What? What is it? I Yeah, I think it... Is it the replicator or something? Oh, I'm so busy. Never a moment to breathe. Certainly no time to be talking to children. Hey. Nah, uh, yeah. 
Maybe I can get on their computer. Oh. There's an email on the screen. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are all legendary bird Pokemon. This we know. Yet their exact whereabouts are still unknown. We'll be investigating the Cerulean Cave next, and we'll report back accordingly. Pokemon Research Team. I thought Mewtwo was in the Cerulean Cave. Yeah, because Moltres was on the Victory Road. Zapdos was through a power plant. Through the cavern to the power plant. Yeah. And then Articuno is on the Seafoam Islands. Yeah. I always get tired, so tired when I look at a computer for too long. Testing your eyes is really important, you know. Maybe why I become a fossil to revive me in a distant future. Uh -huh. Oh god, that'd be weird. Oh, that'd be so weird. You just hand them the fossil and out pops like a naked dude. Ah. This machine is cold. And look, they show the different fossils on, up top. The yep. amber. So you want that dude. Oh, yeah. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very well known indeed. Here, I study with Pokemon fossils. Hey, do you have a fossil for me? Dome fossil. Oh, that's a dome fossil it is. It, it is a fossil of Kabuto, a Pokemon that's ne already extinct. Shall I use my resurrection machine to make that Pokemon live again? Yeah. This is horrifying, so give it here. You handed the dome fossil to the odd doctor. The fact that he l revives your extinct Pokemon and then hands it back to you without even saying, like, can I keep it, mm -hmm. bothers me. Success! The fossil was Kabuto, as I thought. You got a Kabuto from the doctor. I always thought that the red things were its eyes, but then it turns out that the little black dots are its eyes, too. Yeah. It's like, um... Or it's like a, you know, a horseshoe crab yeah. kind of deal. I ah. try not to think about the lower eyes. They horrify me a little <laughs> bit. Kabuto's data will be added to the Pokedex. A Pokemon that was recovered from a fossil, it uses the eyes on its back while hiding on the seafloor. Shellfish Pokemon. And is it a small one? I thought there were I think it was smaller, arrows. maybe. I could be wrong. Well then, come back soon. What? Uh, just in case we have any more. <laughs> yeah, just, there's something kind of broken about this situation. Let's look at our little guy's stats. Yeah, he's a small sucker. Yeah, it's only... Well, you should judge him. Judge? Yeah. Why? So, top one. No. Oh, Y is left. Sorry. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Oh, what? He's, <laughs> he's... Wow. Not good at attacking, Holy. but has really good special attack But the stat distribution is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Hey, at least he's the best at some stuff. I mean... Yeah, he's not terrible. I just... Oh. <laughs> they really just kind of throw it out there, don't they? It's just like, well, he's good at these things and he's garbage at attacking. And he's naive. Which sucks, because it's. I think Kabuto is supposed to be the normal attacker. Or Kabutops is, you know, Scythe. Mm-hmm. All matters made up of tiny molecules. It's like how $100 is a collection of a lot of $1. I mean, sorry. A hundred da money is a hundred da monies. What's that? Mm, nothing else in here. All right. So we're able to get our Kabuto. Yep. I mean, you want to go? We could go get the old amber if we want to go grab that. Where was that situation? Uh, Wait, switch. Go that. back to Pewter City. Pewter. Oh, do we have to get it from yeah. the museum or something? Yeah. Go fly to Pewter. And we can come back here at Go any time. Debbie? Yeah. Well, you haven't been inside the Pokemon Center. I don't Center. think it matters. Really? I think you just have to enter the town. I always thought you had to see the Pokemon Center. Do you want to talk with people at the very least? <laughs> I came to visit the Cinnabar Island Gym, but the door is locked tight. 
There must be a key somewhere, though. Maybe in that old mansion? They say that the one of the gym leader's friends used to live there. Right, that's where he is. There are lots of friends. People say Pokemon you get from trading with a friend grow faster. I think it would be worth your time to give trading a try. That I have. Okay, please stop talking to the tutorial NPCs. I'm so sick of them. Okay, fine. I just don't know if any of them have a Pokemon to trade or anything else. Are, oh. Are you interested in dark type Pokemon? You have a Meowth. Maybe I can trade my dark type Meowth for it. Do we have any Meowth? Yeah, on I us? think we had one spare. We do? Yeah. Just do you want to hand it over sure. for that guy? Sure. Really? How good was its. How good were its stats? Not good. Okay. Pretty much nothing we catch on the first go is going to be any good. Like we have to, we have to uh, do combos to actually get the the good ones. Mm -hmm. And even then, like I have zero interest in the Alolan Meowth, mainly because the Alolan Persian looks oh, Alolan so Persian dumb. Looks okay, we add it to the Pokedex. Like Alolan Meowth kind of looks like oh shoot, what was the female cat from uh, Garfield? Oh, I. You know, I don't know the name of the female cat. Because, like, Meowth and the Alolan versions kind of work with that. And then, like, you get to the, the Persian variants and it just goes wrong. Like, so wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Evie. Evie is mimicking someone. Is it a Nabe? A name? Oh, aren't you so clever? Normal, right. What kind of name is Normal? Did you ever read a whole lot of Garfield? Uh, just whatever was in the paper. Not incredibly much, though. I think we had, like, a Garfield book that we got from somewhere. You're so smart. You're learning how to mimic people. All in oh, your quest to become... Normal isn't the chick cat. Perfect person. I yes. thought Normal was the chick cat. Oh. Normal's the gray one that Garfield hates. Wait, really? No, what? I thought the gray one was the lady cat. No, normal is the female one. Yeah. No, never mind. He first appeared in the comic strip. Normal, normal's a dude. Wait, but the eyelashes. What? Yeah. Mistaken normal for a female kitten because of his eyelashes, his seemingly female feminine personality and the tone of his voice. Early television appearances. But no, it's because normal is young. Oh. Wait. Holy crap, I totally forgot about Garfield how Garfield looks. God, that art style actually bothers me. How, like, John's, like, upper lip is a mile long. Okay, so you gotta go to the side entrance. Oh, the side entrance? Outside? Yeah. So I just paid a fee for nothing? Yes, you did. Oh, hopefully that ticket lasts all day. So what was the female cat called? Or was there even a lady cat? Is it Ivy? Yeah, but that's from one of the... That's green. How do you get a green cat? Uh... There's definitely other... I like it how there's just a list of... All of Garfield's enemies. Which is like half the characters. Was it... Oh, Penelope? Man, mm. Garfield lore is confusing. I don't want to delve into this weird hole. Here's the amber guy. Okay. Shh, listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It'd be shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. 
So I have a favor to ask. Steal it and go turn it into a Pokemon. And then burn this lab down. <laughs> you got an old Amber. Oh, there's a female cat that's pink. And its name was Arlene. Got it. Why? Oh, God. The idea of there being, like, deep Garfield lore worries and bothers me a little bit. Oh, Evie's smiling more sweetly than usual. Maybe something good happened? Yes! We got an amber. We got an amber containing the DNA of a Pokemon. And we're going to go all Jurassic Park on it and bring it back to life. And then it's going to eat everyone. Oh, no! Don't worry. We are amassing an army for you. Let's just hope they don't mix it with frog DNA. No, we don't want the polytoads to get involved. Because then it'll be able to change its gent- wait. But we don't have multiple Aerodactyls, so they wouldn't possibly be able to mate. But wait a minute! Pokemon can mate with anything! It's terrible! Yep. Skittis can mate with Waylords. <laughs> Think about how that works. I don't wanna. Well, then it depends on- well, technically, they would be able to prevent Jurassic Park from happening if- what was it? I mean, I don't- Don't they take after their mothers? Yeah. So their father's only- Well, yeah, you don't want a female skitty popping out a, uh, a whalemer. God, that's horrifying. No, but remember, eggs could all be the same size. I'm a bit <laughs> not. <laughs> remember, they-, they Can you imagine eggs. a whalemer just popping out, like, tiny little, like, fist-shaped- shape <laughs> or fist-sized eggs? <laughs> I mean, they can- they, Ugh. They'd lose him so hard. Yay, we also get an Aerodactyl. Now let's see if it has the stupidest stat distribution ever. I want one of these Pokemon to have, like, a complete bow tie. You got an Aerodactyl from the doctor. Aerodactyl's data will be added to the Pokedex. Here's another rare extinct Pokemon oh, that male. you have no business having. And it's large! A savage Pokemon that died out in ancient times. It was resurrected using DNA taken from Amber. If left unattended, it will eat people. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's up with this Aerodactyl. Oh, it is pretty big. You can just press up. You know, instead of going all the way to back down. What? No, 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 no. Oh. There we go. Check summary. It... Huh. ...is not so good at attacking. Wow. Okay with special attacking. This thing's hot garbage. It does have the best speed and defense. Yeah, but and like, HP. what's the point of this thing? A flying rock type, which special almost notes. all of those require regular attack, if I... Well, keep it in the box where it belongs. <laughs> this guy ain't coming out for anything. Characteristic capable of taking hits. Secondary characteristic only capable of taking hits. <laughs> the thing is a super tank. <laughs> That's the only thing it's useful for. <laughs> Why would you use it? Uh, well, you can always feed it a bunch of ber berries. I mean, you to can, but it still doesn't its like. Weaknesses. It's still not the same, kinda. It's just, it's not good. It's bad. Okay, so we're gonna heal up, and then next we're... time we're going to do the Silphco. Well, yeah, next time we do Silphco and potentially three gyms simul well, not simultaneously, but sequentially. Like, straight up, we could probably beat this, uh, in, like, two sittings at this point if we go real fast. We're probably not going to, because we're going to get distracted going off to get Articuno and Zapdos and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to go out back and get all the legendary birds. I think we should go... Oh. I think we should, uh, do the Cinnabar Gym first, actually. If we can. If it lets us. Wait, we can't... You think we can? We might be able to. It would be pretty funny if we just, like... Wait, so, 
But what level are all these going to be when we get inside the... I mean... Inside here. You straight up have a level 50 Eevee. The Elite Four is like 50s and 60s. Hmm. That's a ditto. Oh, catch the ditto. Catch the ditto shell. Oh, ditto. Bye, Bye ditto. Ah! Teamwork. I did not remember this is where you get ditto. I don't think this is where you normally get ditto. Oh, come on. A shame. You were so close to catching it, too. Awesome, I think. No. No. Oh, no. It, it became large. It just last instant. Come on, Ditto. Need our Pokemon. I don't want to say Pokemon Breeder, but that's what I would essentially use the Ditto for in yeah. Silver version. I need you to pop out as many eggs as you possibly can. All right, you caught Ditto. Yeah, because what my friends and I would do is we would have Ditto's copy over our dissimilar yep. um, starters, and then we'd be able to get all the starters that way. When it spots an enemy, its body transfigures into the, an almost perfect copy of its opponent. This thing is nine inches tall. And it's slimy. That's weenie. That's a weenie little creature. All right. So. I mean, I guess let's catch the coughing while we're here. Do we have one? I no. don't think so. I don't think we do. It's a tiny coughing. Uh, no, oh, it's, it's a huge. huge coughing. Sorry, huge. I oh. I keep thinking uh, I'm get keep getting the red and the blue mixed up. Oh, okay. I don't know. I actually think coughing's kind of cute. I yeah, mean, I I just don't like wheezing. No. Great. I think wheezing is kind of dumb, especially because it's got like the bizarro double conjoined twin situation going mm. on. All oh, right, you caught a coughing. <laughs> Make us babies, blob creature. <laughs> 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 oh, why was this one worth so much exp? Holy crap! Because it's a high level. I I guess we had a bunch of boosters going on in there. I. Hey. I do not remember getting this this much EXP at this point in the game, but I guess they really don't expect you to be doing a whole lot of grinding here. In hot places, its internal gases could expand and explode without any warning. Be very careful. This kills the Pokemon. Well. Ooh, so there are holes in the floor? Yeah. I don't know why this place is this, like, horrid wreck. I think in the manga, the the whole place is. Oh wait, no, Wasn't no, no. Wasn't it Mewtwo breaking out? Yeah, and that was people? Mewtwo breaking out, and this is where you like learn about it. We should probably stop though. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like kind of losing my voice a bit. And we've there, been going for are seven they from and a half the journals hours. here, or no? There were journals, if I remember right. Like talking about the creation of Mewtwo, but yeah. Oh wow. Got all the coughings. Yep. I don't remember. Oh, the wheezing. We might as well catch, catch it. it. Yeah. Because we're not we're not gonna be leveling up with it. Oops! It was out of place. We should just wait for it to stop going back and forth. Now. Well. On my own. <laughs> okay. Now. Little out of sync. Yeah. Also, is something wrong with your throat? I mean, it's getting a little raw. There we go. Great. I could use some ice cream after this, probably. Mm, ice cream sounds good. I think my nose has just been a bit runny today. Mm -hmm. it's Yay, like we got wheezing. Me. We got more EXP from the coughing than we did from the wheezing. <laughs> well, maybe it's because of the extra large. Maybe. Versus extra small bit. Yeah. No, probably. 
This Pokemon lives and grows by absorbing poison gas, dust, and germs that exist inside garbage. Why would anyone want to be around this thing? Why would anybody want this thing? <laughs> I mean, like, it would be great as a cleaning utility, but why would you want it? And where did the second one come from? Did, did coughings just kind of, like, absorb each other and become a wheezing? Because that's how Magneton works. Oh, hey, an item. Max lure. Ah! No, Rattata. I don't want you. Why are we still finding Rattata this far into the game? It's because this is this place probably just has. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's fine it. since it's not random encounters. But like, it bugs me a little bit. Max Luxor, I I really wish that they would actually have the journals like. Maybe I think they're, upstairs. they're upstairs or something. Probably I don't upstairs. remember. We should. We stop. should leave though. We should, or well, no, we can just save here. You can save in here. Yeah, yeah. There's a staircase over here if you wanna. Because yeah, I wouldn't mind doing this and then going back for Sabrina and just crushing her. Because <laughs> we will, and it'll be hilarious. Okay. I suppose that's all for tonight then. We went for three hours. It doesn't. Not that short. 